Hello everyone. Today is Friday, December 20th, 2019. I'm Crystal Dawn Hill, and I'm here to discuss something that we don't hear too much about in the Twin Flame community in very much detail. Um, we hear about where twins came from, how we got here, and we hear about what we're here to do for the collective. But um, a very significant a part of my experience has been what my twin and I um, experience for ourselves from the connection. Yes, we do hear that a big part of the purpose of the twin flame dynamic is for personal healing. And it's very true. But we don't hear what that entails. At least not that I've ever come across. When I first encountered my twin, the bliss and the euphoria and the magic was beyond words. And I noticed right away that I had I was experiencing phenomena and that I, that I had never experienced before and I was um, noticing that I had gifts and abilities that were brand new and I knew that intuitively that I had encountered these gifts as a result of interacting with him. But shortly thereafter, I noticed that there was also a lot of healing taking place within me, physically, emotionally, and even though I really had no way to validate this, I could feel a sense of healing in my energy. What really has been the most difficult thing to really grasp is that I understand without anything being discussed between us about it. I understand what's, what's going on from his perspective as well. I'm not going to speak on that because I can't speak for him. So I'm just going to do the best I can to explain what I'm experiencing from my own perspective and vantage point. When I say that somehow I experienced a healing energetically, It's very hard to, to have that validation within my own mind because I can't identify what's better. I can't say that my elbow feels better or my knee feels better or my neck feels better. I can't pinpoint what it is. I just know that it is. I feel it in my perspective of circumstances, from my demeanor, from my attitude, from my understanding, my level of understanding of things. I, I just feel more wholesome and that, like there's more substance within me. 
And over the past few days, for the first time really, since we connected externally, um, I, I really haven't felt him so much. And for the past couple of days, I really haven't even f focused on the connection really at all. Just, I've just been just going about my regular day. Um, because typically I, I stay immersed in the energy and the twin energy. And yesterday I had something really interesting happen and it made me reevaluate what this journey is about. It's like what makes us a twin. And for the first time, I really not only saw myself through another person's eyes, but I felt it and I got that validation of who I am. I was seen in a way that's favorable to me and that's complimentary to me by someone who's a dear friend who has been a very special person um, in my life and in my heart without my even knowing it until recently. And it made me really reflect on who I am and who I know myself to be. And so while everything that goes on in the twin dynamic, there's always the dichotomy isn't there. It's never either or, it's always both. It's always all inclusive and all encompassing. But um, this interaction that I had sort of um, projected me into a better perspective of myself, a clearer and more truthful and real and honest perspective of who I am. And while that was very complimentary and very um, um, flattering, it also set me in a bit of loneliness and emptiness because it's what I long so desperately for my twin to see about me. And so going back to what I was saying about the twin dynamic healing us energetically, I realized that in the state of not feeling his essence so strongly, it allowed me to see myself more clearly. It allowed me the space to really get to know a part of myself that I abandoned many, many years ago in favor of other people's perspective of me. I sort of abandoned my own perspective of me. And the core essence of who I am and who I know myself to be. And so I owe that dear friend a very great debt of gratitude. And I also owe God and my twin a great debt of, of gratitude as well for 
having afforded me the space to allow myself to remember that part of who I am, my core essence. So what inspired me to put this message out right in the moment that it's unfolding is that I felt out of the blue in an instant his energy and his essence and his consciousness emerge in one moment, in one instantaneous moment. And it was much more poignant and vibrant and palpable than I've ever felt it before. Sharper and clearer and more precise. And it was that feeling and that sensation, because I did feel it viscerally in my, in my own etheric body and in my own consciousness, that it was almost protruding into mine of like something being injected into me and I knew in that moment that I had to capture this the essence of what I'm what I'm experiencing as it unfolds. And that inspired me to do a message about what the twins do for each other. And I truly, from the bottom of my heart, believe that that's really, really, really what this dynamic is for. I, I think what we do for the world and for the universe and for the cosmos I think all that's byproduct. I think God blesses us and bestows us with such a great love to remind us of how much he loves us and to remind us of how deeply we can love. And how deeply we can feel. And how palpable and how palatable the essence of love really, really is. And I believe if there's one thing that any of us can do. to draw in our beloved is to really remember the, the essence of who we are at our very core. And I know I've done this in various ways but never quite like this. Never to the degree that I could feel his energy penetrating mine so poignantly, so very, very poignantly. There's so much about our dynamic in our interaction and in our experience that I yearn to share. But as I mentioned earlier about the dichotomy and how this dynamic 
offers both of everything, both sides of every coin. It's also so sweet and so sacred and so precious that there's a part of me that only wants to keep it in its sacred essence that it is to keep it pure and to keep it unseen by everyone except the two of us and God. So perhaps being able to experience the dichotomy and the all-encompassing nature of everything in life, perhaps that is the balance that we all seek and that we all yearn for and that we all must attain in order to experience this love in its fullness and in its utmost maximum capacity that we could ever experience anything. Its utmost highest potential. I truly do believe that when I say all-encompassing, that it really is all-encompassing. It's There's nothing at all that we could imagine that it could ever exclude. And as I sit quietly for that moment, really feeling that truth, I felt a rush of invigorating energy rush through me. And it reverberated all the way into the very core of my soul end of my consciousness, end of my being. <laughs> 